Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, drag it, drop it, zip, and zip it, lock it, fill it, call it, find it, view it, code it, jump and lock it, surf it, scroll it, pose it, click it, cross it, crack it, twitch, update it, name it, read it, tune it, print it, scan it, send it, fax, rename it, touch it, ring it, pay it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop, format it. Technologic. Technologic. What is a Singularitarian? Someone who understands the scientific trends and changes on social and cultural institutions. Being a Singularitarian is not a matter of faith, but one of understanding. Most people believe and accept that life is short, that our human, intellectual, and physical reach is limited, and that nothing fundamental will ever change in their lifetime. It's time to rethink. So what do we need to rethink? How does Ray Kurzweil see our lives? He believes that seeking and appreciating knowledge in all its forms is the purpose of life, and any loss of knowledge, including death, is tragic. He believes that by aggressively applying existing knowledge, the aging process could be drastically slowed down. He sees aging as an obsolete genetic program, one which can and should be revised. According to Kurzweil, the primary role of traditional religion is simply deathist rationalization, or rationalizing the tragedy of death as a good thing. Through the responsible application of technology, Kurzweil believes that we can solve any problem confronted by humanity. What does this mean for our future? How will we be affected? Will technology reign over humanity? Will it serve humanity? Or will it allow us to transcend our humanity?
Sponsored by the new NS5. What will you do with yours?